thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. What's going on, guys? It is Zerks from today with another YouTube video today. We have the new legends, Dan Marino and also Lawrence Taylor. So definitely some pretty good legends that we have today. Now let's see if overall the 91 overall is up from the set just yet. And I don't think they're going to be. We can just double check really quickly to see if we can get a peek at their stats. And unfortunately, they are not. But we have the 94 Dan Marino. And then, of course, we also have 94 Lawrence Taylor. This card is going to be absolutely nasty. The Twitch Prime Legend is actually Lawrence Taylor. So if you guys didn't already know this, then you probably don't play the game much. Because as you guys can see right here, we have the Lawrence Taylor, and that is definitely not his picture. There we go. Lawrence Taylor 90 overall as the Twitch Prime Legend. Definitely a very, very good Twitch Prime Legend. And then we also have some new Blitz sets that unlocked. So, right now we have the Gold Team of the Week player, which I would definitely not recommend you do this for 5 Blitz tokens. And then we also have a Gold Premium pack coming up at 12. Also, wouldn't recommend doing that. But we have for the 8-hour sets out right now, we have the Mutt Heroes pack. 7 Blitz Tokens for in my Heroes Pack and 2 Night Train Lane Keys. And then we have the Spooky Fantasy Pack unlocking at 12. And then at 8 p.m. tonight, we also have the Legends Fantasy Pack, which I think I may go ahead and spend some on that. But I think I'm going to wait actually until this one unlocks on the 27th at 4 a.m. to do that. Because right now we have Tyrod Taylor. But at 8 p.m., we get ourselves Ryan Shazier. And I definitely want to get myself this Ryan Shazier. Yeah, this Ryan Shazier. Because this card looks absolutely amazing. 90 speed, 90 excel. I think he's like 94 jumping. Definitely going to be my new middle linebacker. But we also have Tyrod Taylor. So I'm going to show you guys his stats as well as the new legends once they do get up on the auction block. But let's go ahead and take a look and see this Tyrod Taylor. Ty God Taylor. Not really sure why the Bills benched him. Especially since Nathan Peterman threw five interceptions. I do believe Tyrod Taylor is going to be taking over the starting spot. So let me go see where he's at. He's only going for 69,000 coins. Now, if you take a look at Tyreek Hill, which I said last night, would be a decent card to do. He's going for about 100,000 coins. So if you guys did that set, he's going for about 100k right now. But we have Tyrod Taylor going for about 69, 65,000 coins. 87 speed. Definitely a very, very fast quarterback. 84 awareness with 83 throw power. 83 short. 81 medium. 81 deep with a 78 play action. And also an 85 throw on the run. So throwing stats really not too good i mean but 87 speed 89 excel you're really just looking to scramble if you have him 72 carrying as well you're really just trying to scramble if you have tyrod taylor like if you run read options and you just run the ball like 75 percent of the time then i guess tyrod taylor would be a good qb for you 80 spin move 84 juke move he also has a stamina of 89 so decent stamina not really amazing so he will get tired kind of fast so Tyrod Taylor, I guess, six nine thousand coins. If you guys want to go ahead and pick him up, then go ahead and do that. But you also have some packs in the store we're going to be opening up to try to get ourselves this Dan Marino or Lawrence Taylor. That is also a limited time Rod Smith in the game, I believe, for the Blitz promo. But I'll see if he's up after this. But we also have Legend Fantasy Pack contains eight Legend Fantasy Packs, eighty nine Blitz tokens, and a topper containing a full Legend. So. Be on the lookout for legend prices to take a little bit of a dip in price. But let's go ahead and we'll open up a couple of, I guess, gold player packs to see if we can pull ourselves some sort of elite. We'll open up three packs. Yesterday, I did, in fact, pull RG3 limited edition before he came out of pack. So my pack look has been heating up just a little bit as we get nothing out of this pack. And we also get our objective completed for the day. On to the next gold player pack. Let's see if we can get something good here. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to have my 88 plus NAT pack opening. But I'm thinking about doing the auctionable instead of the NAT this time. Because the fact that an 88 overall for my team now really won't even start. So I think I'm going to go with the auctionable. Hopefully get something good that I can sell or just keep in general. But we get D'Angelo Hall in this pack. And I think that's going to be it as we get TJ Yeldon once again. My pack luck is not too good, but yesterday we did pull something good. So here is the limited edition Rod Smith. He is in packs right now. 90 speed compared to Michael Irvin. He definitely doesn't look as good as Michael Irvin. 90 speed, 93 catching with an 89 elusiveness, 90 spectacular catch, 92 release, 85 route running, 93 catch traffic, and a 92 jump. Now, as you guys can see, Michael Irvin's only going for like 120,000 coins. They both have the playmaker chemistry. They're both 93 overalls. 
and the salary cap of Michael Irvin is actually higher, so 68 strength, he also has an acceleration of 93, which is the same as Michael Irvin, Carrion's a little bit higher with plus 4, run block of a 68, the same run block, now he also has a 73 truck, which is lower, a stiff arm of a 75, lower, Spin move 85, which is not as high, and a juke move 91, which also is not as high, and an impact block of a 62, which is the same as Michael Irvin. So, I mean, if you guys want to pay this much for Rod Smith, uh, you're probably a Broncos fan because Michael Irvin, way better than Rod Smith. And as you guys can see, Rod Smith right now is currently going for 1.19 million coins. And if you guys just want to pick up yourself the Michael Irvin, I'm pretty sure he's going for like 130,000 coins max. If we take a look really quickly, I believe he's only going for like 130k. 125,000 coins versus 1.5 million coins. I mean, that's up to you guys what you want to do, I guess. But in my opinion, I would definitely not pick up that Rod Smith because Michael Aaron is way, way better unless you just want to have two really good receivers. But the price on that definitely does not add up. And make sure you guys are doing your Madden Blitz Soul challenges. Because once again, you get three every single time, and then of course the Gun Unleashed. But my video tomorrow is going to be the Gun Unleashed. Now, let me know if I should do the auctionable or if I should do the NAT. Because the 88 overall NAT for my team, it's really not gonna matter, I guess. I mean, 88 plus, so I believe it's still just a regular base elite. Unless I got like a Julio Jones or Antonio Brown, nothing can really fit on this team because most of my team is already 89 90 overall so i think i'm gonna go with the auction mode version this time and see if i can get a little bit lucky but let's go see if any of these new legends are up in the auction like dan marino or lawrence taylor definitely want to see what the 94 overall lawrence taylor is looking like i already know the stats on the dan marino but also we have the ryan chaser coming out today and i do believe tomorrow is going to be the vic beasley which is definitely what i'm excited to see and it looks like Dan Marino and, wow, there's actually a lot of Dan Marinos. Why are there so many Dan Marinos up in the auction block? Something is not right because we have nine Dan Marinos up and it's only 1043, which means that it's only been out for eight minutes. So maybe people are just pulling a ton of Dan Marinos out of that set. But 61 speed, 92 awareness with a 95 throw power. 95 throw short, 93 throw medium with a 90 deep, and a 94 play action. Also a 78 throw on the run, acceleration of a 67, so not fast, not fast at all. But very, very good throwing stats on Dan Marino. Carrying of a 68, which isn't too bad. Now let's see if he has any spinner juke, and he definitely does not have spinner juke. Take a look at the stamina of a 93, which is definitely really good. But 95 throw power, 95 short, 93 medium, and a 90 deep, and 94 play action. Those are definitely... Some very, very good throwing stats, and I'm really confused as to why there's literally so many Dan Marinos up already. And I refreshed, and it looks like there's another Lawrence Taylor as well, so I don't know why there's so many. But we have Lawrence Taylor as well. This card should definitely be looking like an absolute stud. 88 speed, 92 strength, 94 tackle, 90 play rec, 92 block shed, 94 power move, 90 finesse move, and a 95 hit power. So he's got elite tier threshold when it comes to power move, block shed, tackle, strength, and he's got 88 speed, and he's also got 90 finesse move to go in the 94 throw power, and 95 hit power. That is absolutely crazy. 92 acceleration as well, so this card is just absolutely crazy fast. Catching of a 76, he also has a jumping of an 86, and let's see his zone coverage maybe, is that any good? Zone coverage of a 79, so he can definitely play some zone as well, and a stamina of a 95, so the best pass rushing outside linebacker, maybe just the best outside linebacker in general, and then we also have Dan Marino, who's probably the best throwing quarterback in the game, and I'm seriously so confused as to why there's literally so many Dan Marinos on the auction block, but I know that the new set, or the new bundle, does give you a guaranteed legend so if you guys want to go ahead and try to snipe some legends i guess then now would be your time if you're trying to snipe like 93 overall legends because i'm sure people are going to be pulling a ton of the 92 to 93 so if we take a look really quickly christian decoye it doesn't look like their prices are falling by a lot but i think i may try to pick up like the marcus Ware because it seems like people are going to be able to pull a ton of the full set legends out of the bundle today but that is all I have for you guys today. We have the new Blitz sets that unlock. We have Tyrod Taylor, which not really that impressive. We also have Lawrence Taylor and Dan Marino, but we have Brian Shazier at 8 p.m. tonight. 
And then tomorrow we have Darren Sproles at 8 a.m. And Vic Beasley at 8 p.m. So 52 tokens and 38. So I need to get myself 90 Blitz tokens to get Ryan Shazier and Vic Beasley. Now, I'm not too sure if I want to get Vic Beasley or if I want to try to maybe get a different outside linebacker. But if I don't get Vic Beasley for 52, then I'm probably going to spend those on, I uh, guess, like a... I'm really not too sure, honestly. Maybe like the Legend Fantasy Packs. I have 53 Blitz tokens and, of course, the Soul Challenges today and tomorrow as well I'll get some more and then I might end up opening up a pack or something I don't know it really just depends on what I'm feeling like but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment I'll see you guys next time